Hey everyone, welcome to the AWS Startup Showcase, Analytics and Cost Optimization. This is season three, episode two of our ongoing series that highlights exciting startups in the AWS ecosystem. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and one of our alumni is back with us, JT Geary, the CEO at NHOPS. He's here to talk about NHOPS NKS or NOPS Carpenter Solution. JT, great to have you back on the program. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for having me and looking forward to the conversation. Yeah, me too. Tell me a little bit about Carpenter. We, we, we're talking about the launch of NKS or the NOPS Carpenter Solution. Talk to me a little bit about Carpenter. I know it simplifies Kubernetes infrastructure, but I want to understand it a little bit more and then walk us through the NOPS Carpenter Solution, key features, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, just maybe if if uh, folks are not familiar with NOPS, we are a fully automated FinOps platform. We have a unique pricing model. Uh, the platform is completely free and uh, we take a percentage of the savings. So we're always looking for ways to optimize customer spend. And we see a lot of the workloads are moving to containers, particularly to Kubernetes and we see an opportunity to have a bigger impact for companies who are running their workloads on uh, on, on Kubernetes. So this is a Carpenter, uh, uh, you know, and and NOPS Carpenter solution is our way of uh, optimizing spend for, for our customers. And uh, we do it in a way, uh, everything we do on NOPS, we focus on automation where a customer doesn't have to you know, go look at a report and take action. So, you know, uh, NKS is our carpenter solution, which automatically looks at the spot pricing. It looks at your reserve instances commitments. It looks at your saving plans and it picks the right nodes to save you the most amount of money. Let's unpack that a little bit. Talk to me about NKS. How does it really help organizations to simplify EKS management? Talk to me about how it's going to help organizations to really um, optimize their AWS costs. Yeah. So most of the customers, uh, especially uh, if they're running EKS, which is the elastic Kubernetes service um, from AWS, most of the customers leverage EKS to run their Kubernetes environment. And uh, you know they leverage this uh, uh, scheduler or provisioner called cluster autoscaler. Uh, cluster autoscaler is kind of constrained by node groups. So whenever you're scaling up your infrastructure, it's kind of constrained by you know instance type. So um, when it's launching new pods, uh, essentially first it's launching the infrastructure, then it's retrofitting your application to the infrastructure. So AWS launched this open source solution called Carpenter. Carpenter kind of frees you up from this uh, node group and auto scaling constraints. So, you know, whenever you're, uh, so rather than launching infrastructure and retrofitting your application, uh, Carpenter actually launches your infrastructure based on your application requirements. And with NKS, we take it even one step further where we make sure that Carpenter is aware of your reserve instances reservations and is aware of your savings plan reservations. And, and we also reconsider pricing in real time to make sure we pick the best optimal uh, cost, uh, optimal uh, instances types and to save you most amount of money. Uh, in many cases, we can reduce your EKS cost by like 50% without actually requiring a lot of engineering work. So that's a considerable amount of savings. Help me understand some of the gaps or the challenges with existing EKS autoscalers that, that NOPS saw and said, we can fix this. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a lot of the customers who are running uh, uh, their Kubernetes workload using EKS, um, they're moving more and more, those customers are moving to uh, Carpenter because that is better way and better provisioner uh, for uh, EKS workloads because uh, it's more closer to Kubernetes API. It's, you know, it's provisioning resources um, based on your application requirements. And, uh, and we saw an opportunity where as we see a lot of customers are migrating to Carpenters, 
And uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of our conversation, our main focus is how do we optimize customer spend? And we saw a gap where a lot of the customers who end up running, let's say, if they were running workloads on spot, uh, if they have savings uh, plan commitment commitments they made or reserve instances, they were actually losing money. Uh, so we saw an opportunity where we could do this, you know, kind of automatically and pick the best, uh, you know, cost optimal node types so customers doesn't have to think about it. Uh, one of the things, Lisa, we think about a lot is we believe that engineers should focus on in in innovation. You know, they should not, you know, spend a lot of time learning AWS pricing plans and, you know, see if the spot price is cheaper right now. Uh, and so we we build solutions and bring bring solutions to the market that free up engineers to focus on innovation. Which is exactly what they want to be doing to your point. They're not experts on AWS pricing, nor should they be. But it sounds like from from a, 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 a alignment perspective that that NKS and NOPS and what you guys are doing are really kind of bridging some of the gaps between engineering and FinOps? Because I know that that's a challenge. They don't typically speak the same language, but it sounds like you guys might be an enabler of that relationship. Absolutely. So I, I do believe, Lisa, like I feel like we're in very early stages of FinOps. Uh, you know, I was migrating companies to AWS when uh, EC2 was in beta. And in those days we used to see, you know, uh, presentations from like Netflix and other companies they used to say, oh, you know, we deploy code thousands of times a day. Uh, and then we used to scratch our head, like, like, how are you doing that, right? And uh, nowadays, you know, deploying code multiple times uh, is, became like a norm um, because there is, you know, a lot of adoption of DevOps, but there's also better tooling. I believe we're kind of in the early stages of FinOps. Uh, we do need to empower engineers so they can take actions. Uh, right now, engineers are, you know, they focus, they, they have product to build, they have feature set, right? They have roadmap to deliver on. They might not have time to learn AWS pricing plan, like I said earlier. So we have to provide better automation so they we can empower them so they can uh, they can focus on things that's actually going to generate revenue for the company, you know? Uh, so that's, yes. our that's our focus. We focus a lot on building experiences and leverage more automation. So all this stuff could kind of happen on autopilot. I like that autopilot. I saw that on the website. I'm like, I'm going to understand that. That's, that's a fantastic term. You mentioned a number of really good terms, autopilot, awareness, empowering engineering, real time, all critical today. Talk to me about some of the use cases where NKS is a perfect fit. Yeah, most of the customers, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, our whole idea is like we, we empower companies to focus on innovation. So if you're running workloads on AWS, the platform is completely free. I highly encourage you to try it out. You know, if we save you money and, you know, we just take percentage of the savings. So it's worth a shot. We overlay <laughs> anything you are doing. We overlay our tech on top of it. So we don't disrupt anything you're doing internally. Uh, as far as the best fit, you know, if you're running Kubernetes workloads on AWS, if you're thinking about optimizing your cost, if you're thinking about uh, moving to Carpenter, uh, we have a lot of customers who are thinking about moving to Carpenter. Uh, if you have reserve instances and savings plans and you want to make sure that if you move to savings plan, it's not going to eat into your capacity. Uh, if you kind of you know, say yes to any of these uh, things I just mentioned, I highly you know, encourage you to try it out. Excellent, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now let's talk about how NKS integrates with Carpenter and the value that it provides to EKS clusters. Walk me through that. Yes, yeah, so basically uh, we're managing the Carpenter configuration for you. This is like Carpenter configuration on autopilot. Uh, one of the challenges with Carpenter is, you know, let's say you're running spot, um, uh, if you're running resources on spot, it does not reconsider spot pricing real time. 
uh, we look at your uh, we look at the spot market and we see if this this instance type is the best instance type, the cheapest instance type. And we also are aware of your reserve instances. We ingest your curve file. Um, we also wary of your saving commitments. And then based on uh, all this data, we are uh, manipulating or updating your Carpenter config and uh, picking the best configuration for you to save you the most uh, amount of money. So uh, one, of the, one of the things I want to mention uh, is um, because we're leveraging uh, Carpenter, so there's no vendor lock-in. Um, if you ever decide to not use NOPS for whatever reason, you can manage the Carpenter config uh, yourself. That is not true uh, with some of the existing vendors. Uh, most of the vendors in the market use proprietary technology to you know to run your workloads on uh, on spot or other kind of automation. So one of the, this, that was one of the decisions we made. We wanted people to have total freedom. Uh, if for whatever reason they're not happy with NOPS, they can just still leverage Carpenter themselves. That's a really important point because you know every company pretty much talks about no vendor lock-in, and then you have to peel the layers of the onion to see what does that actually mean. But it sounds to me like what you've built there is really a differentiator. I'd love to understand some of the motivators to develop NKS. I know this launched recently in the last month or so, but. What were some of your motivations as a company? Yes, uh, yes, very exciting, Lisa. So basically we've been developing this for a while. Um, as I mentioned earlier, because you know we're a FinOps uh, automation platform, because we we only get paid if we have an impact on your environment, we take percentage of the savings. We always look for ways where we can save you the most amount of money. So we look at the the cloud data. We have billion dollars of AWS spend that flows through our platform, and uh, we analyze the data and we see where can we save uh, customers the most amount of money. And we notice more and more workloads are going to uh, Kubernetes, and uh, and we really thought, okay, this is an area where we can have a big impact. All the existing solutions in the market are proprietary. So we decided to pick um, uh, open source solution and uh, it's exciting. You know, we we're onboarding as a lot of customers as fast as we can. Um, there's a lot of interest um, because everyone is trying to, a lot of customers are moving to Carpenter and then um, uh, we know also realized a lot of customers spend um, a lot of time just managing Kubernetes and uh, and Carpenter config and uh, yeah and and everyone's like hell yeah you know let's let's try it out and uh, <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> yeah I love it so you talked a little bit about some of the impact but talk to me about some of the business impact that the launch of, of NKS is going to deliver to organizations that are moving to Kubernetes, their approach to EKS management, AWS optimization. What impact do you as CEO expect to see? Yeah, one of the things that's unique about uh, NOPS in general, um, we are not a point solution. We provide a complete uh, FinOps platform starting from providing visibility. You know, we have showbacks and chargeback type of functionality. And we give that functionality for free. And then we look at resources that could be paused off hours, like your dev environments, your sandbox, you know, uh, staging. And then we provide one click solution that, uh, that your developers could use to pause these resources. Now we provide NKS where if you're running uh, resources on Kubernetes, which most of the customers are, uh, especially if you're running it on EKS, we provide sort of autopilot uh, configuration management for Carpenter, where we can pick the right node type so you can save the most amount of money. And in the back, in the backbone, we're looking at your commitments, we're looking at your savings plan commitments and reserve instances, and we're adjusting those accordingly. Lisa, that is, um, you speak with a lot of customers, that is so hard to do because a lot of the customers, they make these commitments and then they worry about not moving to spot. And then, then they worry about not moving to serverless because they made these commitments, right? Where with NOPS, we we adjust those automatically, you know? So once again, I think 
the benefit here is more holistic. We provide a complete FinOps platform where engineers could just focus on innovation while we optimize their cost on autopilot in many different areas, you know, like on Kubernetes or pausing dev environments, managing their commitments. So the, the word of the day is optimization. I also think you, as you talked about empowering engineering to really be the innovators that every organization needs them to be. You mentioned onboarding lots of customers just in the last month or so. Where can folks go to get started with NKS? Yeah, just on our site and uh, the platform is completely free. And uh, you know, you know, if you sign up for, um, uh, for NOPS, we require uh, read only, we use read only role to look at your um, billing data. And then after we ingest the data, we can show you how much money we can save you. And, uh, you know, pretty much most of the customers move forward after they look at the savings. Well, music to their ears, saving 50% or more is huge. JT, thanks so much for joining us on this version of the AWS Startup Showcase. Congrats on the launch of NKS. We look forward to following its success. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate it. My pleasure. We want to thank you for watching. And of course, keep it right here on theCUBE for more great content. The Cube, the leader in live tech coverage.